There's something about being out just in nature by itself, let alone the biggest freshwater lake in the world and sitting on the shore and just knowing that there's nothing else anywhere like it. It's kind of what you live for. And anybody that really dives into photography is challenging yourself to create something different and create something new. And that's the aspect of it that I love. These caves every year, it's different. They form differently. Now that we're able to walk on the floor because the floor is frozen, you open up the opportunity for safe entry into the caves themselves. It changes so much, it's wild. I'm talking about kind of getting a little bit excited to see it. It's just so cool. A misconception with these is that all of a sudden they form like that, where it's not, it's layers and layers of wave splashes. So the waves come in, they splash, they splash up, and then it freezes. And then it comes in again and splashes, and then it freezes. There's a few of them where they create these blowholes. So the, It'll freeze and create these arches, and then as the water hits it, it's like these ice volcanoes where it just shoots water up. And then again, that water comes down and freezes. And before all the snow falls, it's really neat because you can see these like step formations, and it almost looks like the water's running, but it's not, it's frozen in place. It's like these like ripples down the back edge of the caves, uh, which is wild, wild. and then just seeing 30 foot mounds of ice that you know aren't there in the summertime. It's just, it's unreal. It's like seeing a house on the water. Some of them get to be so high and so large. And then that feeling hits of, this is gonna be awesome. But then at the same time, it's, where do I start? I'm looking for isolated objects. I'm looking for things that are kind of by themselves that stand out, that I can frame nicely. When I look for photographs, it's just composition. It's all composition based. Going to those spots, okay, try here, and then, yeah, that looks good. Maybe I'll try go over there. Okay, I'll go over there too. And then sometimes just spending all afternoon getting a little bit rosy cheeked and cold fingers and just kind of enjoying it. Finding these areas in these little cracks to be able to shoot these small little windows, it's a whole other world. I like shooting these frame shots where I use the ice and I use the snow to frame the edges of, of my photos. In, in this particular shot, I have the sun coming through this, this narrow, narrow window. So it's almost like all of the ice is glowing. You can see it with your eyes and it's, it is, it's stunning. And sometimes I have to do that is just put my camera down and just literally take it all in. I'm always trying to kind of better my best. So it's hard for me when I'm looking at something to know that like, yeah, that's a good image, but is it that image? There's so much about Lake Superior that's awe-inspiring. We're looking straight out here and there's no land. It's like a sea or, or an ocean. I'm Jeff Dixon and I'm a visual artist.